My name is Caitlin Cho, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jacob 2.8 reads, And it supposeth me that they have come up hither to hear the pleasing word of God, yea, the word which healeth the wounded soul. And my question is, how can God's word heal my wounded soul when I need it? There's all kinds of statistics about just kind of an epidemic of, of loneliness, of anxiety, of depression, even of suicidality among lots of people, but especially young people right. today. And, and I think we, we really need to think about the ways that, that the gospel of Jesus Christ can help heal some of these wounds that the people are feeling now in, in consultation with professional help and and all kinds of other tools and 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 things that God has given us but I think we don't want to leave God out of that process right and and, and I'm sure you see this as, as you meet with and talk with youth all around the country and all around the world right I mean how how does the gospel actually fill the sense of alienation that they feel not only from God but from other people from life and how does it give them hope? Yeah, we, we live in a spiritual war zone, don't we? Everybody, everybody's carrying shrapnel. Yeah. From, uh, from the concussive blows of life that, that, that affect us all. Many of the scriptures really come alive every day in the mission enterprise where missionaries are out trying to teach the gospel to people. I, I had a sister missionary who was just a wonder who one day bore a testimony. She talked about in her morning studies coming across that verse mm. and reading it and had the Spirit touch her heart very pow powerfully and say, you too have a wound concealed. You know, your heart's wounded and you're here teaching other people about the atonement. We, we've got some business to take care of. And so she started struggling with that, you know, kind of working through that process. And what does that mean? And it was issues involving her family and deep-seated things that she wishes muscling through. Later that afternoon, they're out knocking on doors and they get into a house. And they get into a house and the woman says, I don't believe in God, I can't believe in God. And started to lay out the horrors of her life, just the challenging, difficult things, the ways that she had been misused by other people. and. And for this reason, she was distanced from God and wasn't sure she could even believe in him. And my missionary opens to this verse and with authenticity talks her through that mechanism. Heavenly Father wants to help. He doesn't want you to be broken. He wants to reconcile. And through prayer, through scripture studies, you're doing these things. This is why we're here today. We're here today to help you connect with Heavenly Father so that He can heal your wounded heart. It's just a powerful, powerful. It is powerful. Thing.